Got that king crab going with some hella season, rosemary, butter, olive oil. Just want to steam it out of his shell. It's going to go inside of our Cheddar Bay biscuits. I like to call them Cheddar Rays. So I'm making some soup, at least my version of a shrimp bisque, or a crab bisque in this case, using king crab, adding a little hella seasoning, a little cayenne pepper, a little ancho chili powder, a little cumin, I got some sour cream, cream cheese, half and half, and 2% milk, and a little salt. I'm gonna take that whisk, just whisk this on up. Try to mash that cream cheese in there. And this is what our crab stuffed biscuit will fall off into. So you're learning how to make soup. At least how to start off a base of a soup. How to bake bread. How to poach lobster. I'm saying lobster because I really want some this little king crab. How to poach king crab. So now we're gonna go ahead and make our biscuit, our biscuit mix here. A little bit of that hella season, this occasion Mexican seasoning. Don't get salty, get seasoned. And I got some cilantro in there. Um, I'm gonna add some cheese. I'm also gonna add in some cold butter. Some cold butter. Get your butter right there. Shoot a cutting board. Pull this straight out of the freezer. I'm gonna cut this up into cubes. Still slightly frozen, which is what I want. We call this chilled, chilled butter. Great for making biscuits. Cut it up into nice little squares. Drop it off into our bowl. Got some buttermilk right here. We start off with half a cup, half a cup of buttermilk. Start off with another about a half a cup. Pop that up in there. Get your big spoon and get to stirring. Butter, salt, seasoning, herbs, all in my biscuits. And I like to check it. Okay, it needs more butter. Milk. Okay, it needs more cheese. You know, and you can add more ingredients in there as you go. Okay, this is cooking quite nice. I'm gonna give it a good little whisk. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to give it some substance. Whisk that in there. We're going to slowly start adding in our seafood stock.
our canned crab in. I like to save that and put that back into whatever I'm cooking. Add in some more buttermilk into our biscuits here. Now once I get it to a certain point, I'll pick it up with my hands. One and a half cups worth of butter on One stick of butter. You can use Bisquick. You can even pre-purchase this. Um, just a box of biscuit mix. But you can use Bisquick or whatever it is that you choose. Definitely wet. Definitely wet. This is why I use this one, it's very messy. Looking for a ball. It's nice, mix it all up. Mix it all up. Alright, now we got our crab. Bam. Always want to check it for shells. You know. You can just pour some of that out on a cutting board. Any unwanted pieces you don't want, anything on your crab you don't want, this is the time to take it off. I like to leave it a little chunky, so, you know. Get you a handy dandy scooper. Just gonna scoop off one just so we can test it, okay? Now, you can do it a few different ways. I'm gonna make a little bit of a pouch. Pop that off in there and close it with the biscuit. And then I'm gonna roll it. Make sure you get it all mixed in first. Extra dough if you have to. Get it all rolled. Press it as you go. Then I'm going to go ahead and spray candy dandy cupcake pan. Let's go ahead and spray that. We're gonna pop these bad boys off into our cupcake pan. So yeah, you just wanna keep doing that. You wanna make sure you got enough dough. So it's easier just to go ahead and divvy out some dough. You know what I'm saying? Let's divvy out that dough. pushed out right here. Okay. Now we already got plenty of butter in here, so you can put as much crab as you can get in there. But remember, we're using about a three ounce scooper. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. Push that butter off into the dough. So if you have too much butter exposure and not enough dough, grab some more dough. Nothing wrong with it. Pop it in that pan. Pop it in that pan. Move on to the next. 
move on to the next. And we're gonna bake these and then we're gonna dip them in this creamy, delicious, somewhat of a broth soup. Not excited, I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited. Get some of that crab off in there, you know. Get in that pouch. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Fold it. Roll it to silly. And we're just going to keep making these balls of delicious king crab biscuits. Excited. We got enough crab for, to finish our biscuits. We are making an odd number of 11. 